The more I think about Hunter Biden selling a piece of his artwork for a half a million dollars, the more I think that's a great idea. That's why today I'm announcing that my daughter is putting her artwork up for sale. For $50,000, you can own this painting called Trying to Write Letters. <laughs> my daughter is a beautiful and talented two-year-old artist with a gift. When she's not picking her nose or jumping on the couch, she's standing in front of her easel creating masterpiece after masterpiece. This painting right here is called Splotch, and it's a steal at just $250,000. As you can see for yourself, she has an appreciation of rich, dark colors and leaving a little bit to the imagination. Now, my daughter isn't just a painter. She's also a sculptor. Here's a piece she calls Birdie. And for $100,000, she'll even autograph it for you. I would like to add that all buyers will remain anonymous so that others won't find out just how stupid you are. Look, in all seriousness, the idea that someone would want to buy artwork from Hunter Biden for a half a million dollars is completely insane. You can buy a cheap Picasso for about $120,000. Would any art connoisseur want a Hunter Biden over a Picasso? Of course not. And that's the problem. It's not going to be people who appreciate art that would pay tens of thousands of dollars for anything created by Joe Biden's son. Just like there isn't anyone in the natural gas industry that would pay Hunter for his knowledge about that industry. Because he has none. All he has is a connection to a powerful person. Since it was reported that Hunter Biden's been locked away in his Los Angeles home creating art, most people thought, who gives a crap? But then it was reported that his art was very valuable, and that raised some eyebrows. How could his art no matter how good it is, be worth more than most of the homes we live in. So I decided to look into how artists put a value on their art. Here's what I found at artbusiness.com. Art prices are not pulled out of thin air. When you price your art, you must be able to show that your prices make sense, that they're fair and justified with respect to certain criteria, such as the depth of your resume, your previous sales history, and the particulars of the market where you sell. With that criteria, it makes you wonder what he's really selling, that the buyers might be buying something more than just art. He has no resume or previous sales. And since people are pointing this out, the White House had to come up with a plan to make sure that we know he's not selling influence. So what was their idea? To not let Hunter know who buys his art. Their thinking is that if he doesn't know who buys his art, he couldn't possibly be selling access to the president. But that would also mean that none of us would know who buys his art either. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but wouldn't that be a better situation for someone who wants to buy influence from the artist's dad? If none of us knows who buys his artwork, we would never know if they got rewarded for doing so, or if it was payback for something that's already been done. If we don't know who the buyers are, we could never look into potential links between Joe Biden and the person who purchased the art. We could never ask that person why they thought a Hunter Biden piece was worth more to them than a painting from Pablo Picasso, or one of my daughter's lovely pieces. What's undeniable is that there's a history of Joe's closest relatives getting rich off of the family name. It's well documented. But just imagine if Baron Trump started painting with the prospects of his art going for hundreds of thousands of dollars while his dad is president in 2025. Democrats would go nuts. It'd be one of the few times they'd be right to do so. The fact is, nobody believes his art could possibly be worth a half a million dollars. Nobody. Not a buyer, not a Democrat, and not even his father. If his artwork sells like they're telling us it will, I would just say to the buyer, you better beware, because there are going to be a lot of people trying to find the connection between you and the Bidens. And if you're Chinese or Ukrainian, oh man, the suspicion will be raised tenfold. And rightfully so, I might add. The sad part is that this is just par for the course. The Bidens just aren't very good at it. Are we supposed to believe that the Obamas are worth tens of millions of dollars to produce movies on Netflix? Of course not. Politicians get wealthy in America, and it ain't because they're working for the people. And that's the simple truth. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to become a supporting member of Blue Collar Logic, 
click on the link in the description and give what you can. Yeah.